in England and France. and France, but we don't know that much about it. I did not know that Milan was bombed by the Germ by the by the English. I did not know, and I have a, a, a background in in history. history right? So if I don't know, how could I expect other people to really have an appreciation for what the Italian people went through during the war? Right. Um, so I thought, again, going back to my own background in history, I thought that this would be a great uh, a novel to have uh, to give people a background in this particular um, field. What okay. did you do with the written records? Did you digitize them? The written records should be well. Actually, they they were, but I think one of the things that I'd like I need to do. I really need to do this. The letters are still in my home. They're all filed neatly in folders but they do need to be donated to some organization where other people could read them. You should find them. somebody to digitize them. Yeah. You know, yeah. put them in a permanent computer record. Yeah. Because well, those I can do myself because oh. I can scan them oh, in. Oh, that's and, right. You're, yeah. you're I've, and, and actually, to get them in here, I had to do that anyway. So Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. have quite a, um, a varied background as far as oh, history yeah. and Wall Street and yeah. computers. and. Yeah, but that, you're right. But even so, once you do, once you do that, the originals really do need to be donated. I'm, I'm thinking the Italian American uh, yes. um, the museum. Perhaps, yes, a museum. Yeah, some, some other venue like that. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, um, when I did the research for the, my latest book, I went to the Cradle of Avi Aviation Museum. Most everything that I researched was digitized and on. Uh, you know, I could Google it. Yeah. But to go there and to open the the blueprints, the actual blueprints it's, for the airplane yeah. was, you know, it's inspiring. When you actually touch those letters and documents, mm -hmm. it inspires you to yeah. um, to really get into your characters and um, to love your story. So um, now you, you traditionally published. Um, how um, long did that take you to get a publisher? I didn't traditionally publish. Oh. I, oh, that's right. You're I thought about it, and mm -hmm. then I yeah, I was very <laughs> <laughs> no. I was just very. Um, I didn't have time to waste. I, I mean, it could take Me either. It could take years <laughs> to find an agent, and then the process, and uh, and why? Because now we can self-publish, and once you realize that you can do it yourself, and if you're computer savvy, you basically can do the whole thing yeah. yourself. Aren't we lucky that this came along? It really, it's, ama <laughs> it's amazing. I think it's, I think it's an amazing thing because um, there are so many good self-published authors. It's not like it used to be where, mm -hmm. you know, only someone who couldn't get an agent or couldn't publish, you know, uh, well, you didn't have a choice, so. But now you have very good authors, and uh, in even traditional uh, publishing houses are now competing with these self-publishing houses. Um, I, I used Create Space with Amazon. Um, I don't know if it's the best. Uh, everyone has their own favorite. Mm -hmm. um, I happen to be uh, comfortable with a computer, so I did the cover myself with Photoshop. My husband helped me with the layout, with the layout of the actual words. I did have an editor who helped me. I think that's invaluable. You need an editor. Absolutely. Even if you're an excellent writer, you need an editor because the editor will pick up things that you never, you would never even think. And you know, sometimes um, I remember when I was when I used to get the manuscripts back from my editor, it was like, oh, how could how, how I didn't could I see say that? that? How did I didn't I see know. that? How could, I look at it? I look at it? I look at it? And I don't see it. And then she'll pick it up right away. And a lot of repetition also, sometimes you get carried almost, away. So. Almost every author I interview, that's their piece of advice, is get a good yes, editor. Yes. And it is so important. So what's next? Well, um, <laughs> what's next? I do have a project that I'm working on now. I started to work on it. And um, um, it's my dissertation, actually. Uh, oh, I wrote my dissertation many, many years ago for, at New York University. It, it has been cited. My research was cited uh, by many uh, scholars. What's the topic? Um, the topic is on Italian immigrant women in the oh. unionization movement in the garment industry. Oh, that's going to be a facet. So, that's going to be a TV special. That'll be a TV special. <laughs> <laughs> and Burns. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, actually, uh, it was, I don't know how I even started to research that, but uh, back then it was the women's rights movements, I think, that probably influenced me to look at my own, uh, you know, and why, uh, you know, the, 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 back then the, uh, the image of Italian women uh, was that they were not very aggressive in terms of unionization and all well, of that. And I just the culture. found that it was not the case at all. 
so that's where the dissertation came from. And so now I'm actually in the process of revamping the whole thing so that it can be put into a uh, uh, readable form. It's very different, a dissertation has to follow certain layouts, so it has to be reformatted completely and uh, with a, a view with all the research that's been done since then. So that's, hopefully I'll be working on so, that. So yeah, you have your work yeah. cut out for you. Yeah. A word of advice yes. for, for authors? A word of advice for authors is to write from your heart. Yeah. I really believe that because if you try to write a story and you make it up, but it's not. It has to have some basis in, in from from within, mm -hmm. because that will make it real. Even if it's fiction, it will sound real. It will flow from you. Somehow, it has to be your story as well. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank you Columba very much for Furio. Me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it was. Oh, uh, I don't...